Hello Leo and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great day today. So let's see what's going on around you in love, what spirit wants you to know. Just take what resonates, leave the rest behind. Okay, I'm hearing people like talking, talking about people. Yeah, I feel like you're giving these people a lot to talk about, okay? Um... Yeah, and I feel like they're they're feeling some kind of anxiety because uh, there's doors are doors are opening for you here, and they wanted you to be stagnant in heartache. Who are these people talking about you? It could be a group of friends. It could be um, possibly a karmic individual and her friends. It says community. I feel like it's a whole group of feminine energies that were dark that wanted to see you out here losing, but you're only winning. You're, um, uh, you're getting new opportunities, uh, new doors opening for you every day. Possibilities, right? I feel like they wanted you to feel stuck. They wanted you to feel heartbroken, but you're not. You're actually, you're actually walking away. And you know things are being said about you too. Like you can pick up on this intuitively yeah, and I feel like you don't care. You're standing here now with the gate closed, okay? People can't come back in. There's nothing they can do to harm you. And you're moving on into all of this abundance. You found the garden, okay? So um, you, you've got blossoming abundance here, a full basket. So I feel like you're um, very successful in whatever you've, you've been doing. Yeah, whoever this is, it's a dark feminine energy, I feel, having a lot of anxiety, knowing that they're getting, they're getting karma or they're about to. You see that bolt of lightning right outside their window. Okay, they could have, um, they could have tried to do some kind of spell work on you. Sometimes with this card, I can see this as maybe a coven, you know, grouping together to send you bad energy, trying to keep you stuck. Yeah, no, I feel like everything is opening up for you here. You're, you're entering a new life, and spirit isn't letting any bad energy come into this new portal, okay? This is a portal that's opening up for you. This is your new cycle starting, and it's going to be filled with abundance, okay? Blossoming abundance. And I feel like... Um, Archangel Michael is guarding the door. People can't send you any more bad energy. It's being directed right back to them. There's nothing these people can do to hurt you. You've got a lot of spiritual protection here. Yeah, and I feel like they just want to just stuck. You know, they wanted to make you, maybe make you confused, stuck, scared. They wanted you to hurt. And I feel like it's all returning to this karmic. It's backfiring right back onto these people. Okay? Yeah, you're moving into a new cycle here. And you're about to look. You've got, you've got new love coming in. Um, I'm picking up that this could be a person from your past, actually. order to see they see you as like ultimate wish fulfillment they see you as the the um the way to their personal healing and happiness you know they're hoping that you'll um give them an opportunity a second chance they're wanting to bring peace into into the situation okay you're out here as the goddess of the moon you could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, heavy on Cancer. You could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This person coming in, um, they could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or maybe a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. You're very mysterious to this person. Um, they, I feel like this is somebody who has a lot of respect for your intuitive abilities. You, you, you possibly could have blown them away. You're also, you could be in the public eye. You could have your own platform, um, maybe on social media. 
I'm feeling Aquarius energy here, like star energy. So this person, they watch you all the time. They want to talk. I'm getting that this is somebody from your past that's trying to come back in and change this around. Okay, they just, they want another chance. Will you open the door? Will you, will, will you allow some communication with this person? Because you've got your back turned on them here. Yep, you've got your boundaries up as well. You could be a Leo. Yeah, this is, I feel like this karmic is heartbroken. She may be feeling very betrayed as well because this masculine just left her behind for you. She wanted you to hurt. She wanted you to feel stuck. But now I, that's how she's feeling. Okay, now she feels broken hearted. Now she's looking at something that's over and she's going to have to choose a new path. Okay, you're moving on and you're closing, you're closing the door to the past. And this person from your past, now they want to come back in because they're in love with you, collective. They're in love with you. Um, Archangel Raphael, um, this person's opening up their throat chakra. They're opening up their heart chakra. Um, they're gonna, this is going to be a long, maybe an emotional talk that they want to have with you. This karmic was just left behind. And she's feeling heartbroken and betrayed. Yeah, look, this person wants you back bad. They're feeling very possessive as well. I feel like this person daydreams about you, you know? They still see you as theirs. They see you as their person, that uh, they don't want anyone else around you. Like, um, yeah, they want you. This is wanting to take this action towards their happiness. I'm telling you, this is very daydreamy energy. So this person is, they could be trying to manifest you in. They're trying to kind of pull you in. This could be somebody who has also become very spiritual, okay, being the king of cups. They could have a lot of um, spiritual abilities, okay? I'm not going to lie. This person, I feel like they're, they're kind of a powerful person. Um, they may not even know their full strength here. They're very intuitive. They're, they're an excellent manifester as well. This could very well be your divine masculine. And they're trying to manifest you back in here because we are at the end of a cycle. They don't want to let you go. They, they're, this is daydreaming, but also manifesting. Um, thinking about what life will be, will. This is what they're thinking. What life will be like with you. Like this person is, um, oh yeah, they're definitely manifesting and they know what they're doing. You could be feeling this energy. Yeah, they're calling you in here, collective. You're picking up on it because you're intuitive as well. So this is kind of like psychic communication. You feel this person actually changing the energy. That's what they're trying to do is change the energy so that they can get you back into their life. Uh, yeah, the yin and the yang. I feel like this is your divine masculine. You're a divine feminine or vice versa. Take it how it resonates, right? Reverse the roles if you have to. Yeah, this is divine feminine energy with the temperance angel. There may be moments today where you need to um, regain your balance. That You're going to really feel this person pulling hardcore on your energy, probably like never before in this journey. They've realized here that they've got some power when it comes to manifesting. And I'm not kidding. They know how to do it. They know what they're doing. So this is, I'm getting that this is um, someone very intuitive They want their earth angel. They're trying to call in their earth angel. They, and they're, um, 
they're fantasizing about this heavy yeah you're gonna be picking up on this energy okay collective uh yeah because your third eye is popping your crown chakra is open you're going to be receiving some messages possibly today from this person as well. Yeah, you're their angel of love. No one's going to make them feel the way you do. No one. This person, they want you so bad. You're all that they're thinking about today. This karmic is either being ignored or left behind. Okay? Or this could have already happened. I, I, I don't, I'm not seeing a complete breakup today. I feel like it's already happened with that karmic situation. So this is somebody who's single right now, and they're very powerfully, um, totally focused on you, okay? They want you to love them the way you did before. You could be a Sagittarius. You could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Yeah, this is a very powerful manifester. Holy cow, collective. Wow. Definitely a divine masculine, okay? This is a divine being with some really intense abilities. The magician with their look at this person with their third eye open is this person doing something like can they do something like remote viewing you know um where they kind of put themselves in a trance like state and they can see what you're doing i feel like that's what they're trying to do here as they manifest you in wow this person Holy shnikes, I haven't seen, honestly, you guys, who is this person? Holy cow. This is definitely divine masculine, divine feminine energy, and this person seems to be at their, their fullest strength in their abilities right now. Yeah, they've got, they want you, collective, holy tamole, they want you. This person wants to be committed to you. They want to be dedicated to you. They want to build a, a family with you. This could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Someone who's very grounded, very stable, extremely intuitive. This could be somebody who works with their hands, like they could have very calloused hands or dirty hands. You know, um, it's just the job that they do, right? But this is somebody who could be also very financially stable. They could be a boss, their own, they own their own business. They could look like Fabio. <laughs> Dude always reminds me of Fabio. I think it's the unbuttoned shirt. I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, they know you're the one that they want. Yep. They've got their sights set on you and no one else will do. This person's heavily focused on you. I'm kind of, I'm, it's, it's giving me the feeling like they even called off work today, possibly to sit and meditate on this, do this. This is what they're doing today. They're serious about this manifestation thing, man. Yeah, this person is extremely abundant, okay? They want a victory with you. They see you out here, too, having this victory. You could be very abundant right now at this time. I feel like both of you may have some abundance at this time. Look at the 11. We've got a 10 here at ending to a cycle. We've got another 10 here. Yeah, and I feel like this karmic is stuck. She can't do anything to stop this person from coming back in. Holy tamole. Yeah, I'm just feeling like this is a, this is a divine connection. Um, look, and I feel like this is divine timing, okay? I feel like you've been very patient 
wanting to hear back from someone, wanting the truth, wanting to see your justice, um, maybe even possibly wanting union. Okay, spirit is over this connection. Like, um, I mean, they're standing over, over the top of it, kind of protecting it. Okay, wanting you two to come in. And I just feel like it's time, it's either time for union or it's time for you two to communicate. We've got the man holding the coin, the woman holding the coin. This is telling me that you're both on equal ground. You, you both have learned your lessons. You're both at the same level, okay? You've both passed some tests here. You're both having a new beginning. You're ready. Um, that's what Spirit is saying. It's Spirit is saying you're both ready now to come back together. This is divine timing. Ooh, collective. This may be a union. That's, I feel like it's going to be up to you. I feel like it's going to be your final decision because this is somebody from your past who has hurt you, who's learned their lessons, but is also becoming a very powerful divine masculine. Like they're stepping up to that position with a whole lot of strength. I don't know who this is for. It's not going to be for all of you, okay? And that's okay. It's okay. But for whoever this is for, this could very well be a union. Like today, Valentine's Day reading, okay? Um, you know, I want, a, I want a different deck. What do I want? And this is all about divine timing. Like here's spirit. Here's the angels, archangels holding that divine timing clock for spirit, even though spirit doesn't really have any sense of time. Um, but yeah, that's what this is. They're saying, okay, it's time. It's time for you two to come together and let's see what happens, right? That's what Spirit is saying. Let's see what happens. Ooh. This is someone from your past who left you feel very orphaned out in the cold. See, yeah. yeah. Just as you're ready to walk away, Collective, just as you are releasing this connection, he, this person shows up. Okay? I feel like Spirit really wanted you to choose yourself in this. But as soon as you did, and as soon as this person finished the work on themselves and raised their vibrations to your level, Spirit is now like, okay, now it's time. I mean, do you see what I'm seeing here? Now it's time to bring you two together, just as you're walking away. You're releasing this connection, twin flame soulmate connection or not. You're in the process of walking away. I feel like spirits led you to do that. Maybe they just wanted to make sure you were gonna listen. You know what I mean? And that's what you're doing. You're doing what spirit's telling you to do. You may be feeling like this is not for you, okay? But I really do get the sense that your person is being led to come forward here and message you and communicate. This communication, this, I, I, you could very well want this union. It's happening. Or it, it's definitely being given the opportunity to come back together. Okay? It's going to be your decision, collective. You know... This could, you could either choose to end this cycle for good or give it another try. I mean, it's up to you. I can tell you, though, um, yep, and here comes peace. Yeah, here comes somebody coming in to answer all your questions. You're about to get the truth from this person. This is extending an olive branch, giving you an apology, answering the questions that you've had about this connection. What happened? Why was this done to you? Where, where is your justice? That kind of thing. So you're about to get this communication and an opportunity re to rekindle this. And this masculine, they've learned their lessons. They've done some work. They've done a lot of work. This is somebody who's done a lot of work on themselves to catch up to you. You know, and they're all caught up. 
right now. I mean, you may have more spiritual knowledge than they do right now, but that's something that they, they will learn every day. I feel like this person has split from the karmic. They want you, and they know their power. Okay? 